Hey there, baseball fans. Nathan Rohde and Shooter Hunt here with the latest episode of Coffee and Curveballs. Shooter, in preparation for the 2020 Future Games, which are right around the corner, we're taking a look at back at 2019 today with some pitchers that really jumped onto the national scene. Yeah, these guys were blazing right from the start, and and not only just at the Future Games, but since then, in the last year, they've really emerged as some of the top arms in their classes. They certainly have. So let's start off with the state of New Jersey with Chase Petty, committed to Florida after the event. He was one of the first guys to go on the mound, and it came out hot right away. Yeah, I mean, I'm a Jersey guy. I've been following Chase Petty for a while now. Shout out to the BPC guys, always bringing the heat down South Jersey. Um, but it came out hot, 94. He's going to be touching triple digits, I mean, the rest of this summer, if, if not into the spring. Um, but it is electricity, and he is not scared. He's got that Jersey toughness in him. He was going after guys and trying to make them look silly. Mm -hmm. He certainly was, and he succeeded and still is. <laughs> One of my favorite guys came from Oklahoma. He's now committed to Mississippi, and that was Jackson Job. He's got some two-way ability, but you see him get on, the, get on the mound. You know, it's an electric arm. It's quick. He can, uh, you know, there's more to come in terms of velo, but he can really, really spin it. Yeah, spin wins. His ability to separate himself from other guys has been that spin. It was high RPM. I think he was up close to 3,000, if not more. Mm -hmm. um, but he is a shortstop. He can swing it okay. He brings that athleticism to the mound. I think that's what everybody likes about his upside. He came in, showed that spin, and it really elevated his stock. Certainly so. Speaking of spin wins, Caleb Loggerwell. You know, he jumped out for spinning a breaking ball at Future Games last year, is still doing that, has stood out so far this summer. So, you know, another big arm there out of Georgia. Yeah, Phil Kerber, PBR down there in Georgia, loves Caleb Lagerwell, and he has just steadily gotten better. It wasn't just his performance at the Future Games. Mm -hmm. It was all of last summer, came in, really made a name for himself, UCF commit now, and he's cruised into this summer where he's still showing that premium stuff, even in front of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he certainly has so far, so looking forward to seeing more of him. Down in the state of Florida, we've got a Florida recruit, shockingly, in Carson Finvold. Yeah, and, and a lot of the guys in Florida, because it's so talented, it's it's really dog-eat-dog -dog down there in the recruiting world because you got to get on guys earlier. So Carson Finvold came in. He's a smaller left-hander, but he's a tough kid, and that's what I loved about him at the Future Games. He attacked some big-time lineups, went after the Georgia lineup, which was stacked with big-time guys, Fearless. That's what Coach Sully's going to really like down there at Florida. He can attack the zone. He's got multiple pitches, got starter profile, and he did a great job at the future games and even now. Mm -hmm. Over in Alabama, we've got a Mississippi State recruit and left hander Cole Cheatham. Yeah, and Cheatham really spun it at the Future Games. It's something that I was a huge fan of, the big breaking ball. He's up to 89 there. The velocity continues to grow. Recently, after a PBR Alabama event, committed to Mississippi State, um, which I think he's going to do great there in Starfield because of that spin, and it's a premium arm. I think his best days are ahead of him, and he continues to make those progressive steps. Mm -hmm. We talk a lot about the guys that jumped out at the Future Games but have continued to not only progress but perform on big stages. Mm -hmm. Brennan Cutts is one of those guys who's a Future Games standout last year committed to Indiana State. You fast forward to this summer at the Midwest Pro Case just a couple of week ago, weeks ago. He was a standout there. Yeah, it's, it's a physical frame. Those those Midwest guys bring those big fastballs as well. Um, I, I think his best days are ahead of him. Indiana State has done a great job developing some guys mm -hmm. if he gets there because I'm sure professional scouts are going to be watching him. It's a solid year for arms in the Midwest, especially in Illinois, and, and he'll definitely have those eyes on him. He certainly will. Wrapping things up here with the pitchers from the 2019 Future Games, we've got Caden Dana, a right-hander out of New Jersey who committed to Kentucky. Yeah, and leaving the, the future games, Dano is one of the real surprises to me. If Knowing his brother recruited him while he's at Tulane, uh, it's, his middle brother is at Seton Hall as well, but it's an obvious athletic family. Uh, he also punts for Don Bosco's football team, which is a national program. Mm -hmm. um, but Dana's steadily creeping up in the 90s. It's a three-pitch mix. He's 6'4". He looks the part. Uh, and in Jersey, he's going to have a ton of scout eyes on him the next couple of years. Uh, I'm expecting big things of him, and he was great at the Future Games. He certainly was. So there you have it, a look at some of the pitchers from the 2019 Future Games. Be sure to go to PrepBaseballReport.com as we have a ton of content previewing the 2020 Future Games. And obviously, during the event and after it, we will have a lot more. But as always, for Shooter Hunt, I'm Nathan Rohde. This was Coffee and Curveballs. And until next time, we'll see you guys at the ballpark.